Happy New Year. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Been a little while since we've last conversed and interacted. Hope everyone has a great Christmas, great Hanukkah, great New Year. Today, because there's no more big, huge crowds, we're going to head to out east Long Island, Smith Haven Mall to go to the L.L. Bean store. I do want to see what they have for flannels. This is an L.L. Bean flannel, my absolute favorite flannel. And we want to look at rain jackets. We want to look at longer rain jackets that I can wear when I'm wearing my sport coats for work. Should be fun. It is kind of a little bit further. I'm in Nassau County, Long Island. So it is about an hour, but it's good to get out of the house. It's January 2nd. Happy New Year. Let's go. degrees did I lock the car gotta make sure I lock the car there we go yeah I'm not complaining that it's not that uh, cold today but it's kind of weird it's gonna get cold later this week 55 degrees I'm into it I have not given up on the Red Wing Iron Rangers yet. I like the way they look, I like the way they feel, so I have not got rid of them yet. We will see what happens. Heading into LL Bean right now, we're gonna look at flannels, rain jackets, and a couple of other things. We're also gonna to go to Macy's. Might as well, we're here. Let's do it. down jacket from L.L. Bean. I'll be able to layer it under the jacket I'm wearing right now. And we got a fresh pair of Vans Old Schools. Classic black and white. I got rid of mine a while ago because they were stained and they were worn out. Not comfortable, but favorite pair of shoes. Goes with everything. Always good to have a pair of those. So, also wanted to get a pair of Levi's 511s. Those are the jeans I've been wearing. But I couldn't deal with Macy's. It was busy. It was a mess. I don't know where everything is. Online shopping has us so spoiled. I'll just go to the Macy's near my house where I know where the jeans are and I'll just get it. But like I said, I really don't need it. So let's get on home. Talk to you guys soon. Didn't really find what I was looking for out of L.L. Bean. I did get this packable Prima Loft jacket, which would be really good just to slip on underneath a top coat or underneath another jacket. Just nice throw into a backpack, super lightweight, packs down really nice. These jackets are really good. I will say it is cumbersome to put on two jackets and take two jackets off. But if you're walking around, you're not sure of the weather and you already have a lightweight jacket, like you see me wear my field jacket or my leather jacket or even my top coat, putting this on underneath it is going to make it a little bit more comfortable and it's super compressible, super lightweight. So these are great. Also picked up a pair of my absolute favorite sneakers. I've mentioned these before. If I could only have one sneaker for the rest of my life, this would be it, the Vans Old School in the classic black and white colorway. Only thing about this one is that it's not the most comfortable for walking for long walks. There's not a lot of cushion in here, so once they do get worn, it feels like you're pretty much walking barefoot. We'll see about that as he's wearing. Maybe I'll throw a tiny $2 insole in there, but yeah, amazing shoe. I haven't had the black and white colorway in quite some time. I wore my other pair out and they all just got dirty and this part had like nothing left. It was all bare right there. So these are great. Really happy. Also, something came in the mail and that is from Al 
on Edmunds. What I did was I ordered a pair of Walnut Daltons with a rubber sole. So I talked about my dark chili Daltons. I talked about how comfortable they are, how versatile they are. But the one reason I don't really wear them a lot is because I never want to constantly keep checking, is it going to rain later? And it has that leather sole. Now the leather sole is okay, but just for me, I have something in my mind where I only want to wear leather soles if it's going to be a dry day. So boots in the winter time, even in the fall and spring, when it's raining, even when it's snowing, it kind of doesn't make sense to have a boot that has a leather sole. So during their sale, I was able to pick up a pair of the rubber sole ones and also in the walnut because I'm kind of enjoying this walnut color. A couple of years ago, I tried it and I was just like, absolutely not dark chili all the way. Dark chili is still great, but I picked up also a pair of these shoes as well. And these just look really good. I normally wear muted colors. The most crazy I get is I wear a gingham shirt, but I'm still wearing my dark blue jeans, my gray sweater, very, very muted. So I find that the walnut color really just give that pop of color and just makes the outfits a little bit more fun. And it's nice to change it up to not constantly just wear the same dark chili, the same dark chili, because there are a lot of times I want a darker brown, but there are also times I want a lighter brown. So the dark chili is still, you can see it over there, the dark chili shoes, they are still the most versatile. However, it is nice to mix it up here and there. And something like this, it's a dress boot, but it's easier to dress down because it's a lighter color. And I don't have to worry about if it's raining or spritzing. Obviously they're not rain boots, they're not snow boots, but the leather sole is not gonna to get totally destroyed because there is no leather sole. From my experience with wearing the day-night soles on my Higgins Mill, which have lasted five years, they're just due for resole right now. So the day-night sole is gonna last years and years and years, and I'm not even walking that much anymore. So I'm gonna end this vlog right here. It seems like a good point. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next video. Everyone stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great week, great night, great day whenever you're watching this. And as always, I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.